Construction is underway on the city of Morro Bay's largest infrastructure project. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola toured the water reclamation facility site and has a first-hand look at the progress. Construction started back in March. Now once complete, the facility will provide 80% of the community's drinking water needs. After six months of construction, more than 75,000 cubic yards of soil have been moved. A basin and tank are in the works that will include 600 tons of concrete and 28 tons of rebar. 23-foot walls are also being constructed. Located on South Bay Boulevard, it's a $130 million project that was approved by voters back in 2018. Ratepayers started paying for the project in August of 2019. Our rates are $191 per month for water and sewer for the average single family home. City manager Scott Collins says to date, $88.5 million worth of low interest state and federal loans and grants are in place for the project. Some residents protested outside the future site on Monday, voicing concerns over increased rates and the environment. Overspending is the rule of the day. It's a bad idea. It's a horrible idea. And I'm here today because I'm standing up for the estuary to keep it out of harm's way. The city says the infrastructure is needed, however, to meet state and federal requirements of being inland away from coastal hazards. The state issued a time schedule order several years ago that requires us to, to build a modern facility that can meet Water Quality Control Act requirements. The city adds it'll prepare the area for future droughts as well, instead of relying on imported water from the Delta. This project will provide a much needed backup. The facility will be able to treat 1 million gallons per day. So we can release it into the ocean safely, which we currently our plant doesn't meet those standards. It'll also recycle water for potable reuse or treating wastewater for drinking. It's a bit of innovation, but we feel it's worth it and it's going to be safe. The entire project is slated to be completed by 2023. In Morro Bay, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News.